Peter und Thomas hatte, um den Abend zu besprechen. Und ich kann mich auch erinnern, dass, dass Peter damals gesagt hat, ähm, wenn die Sache jetzt vorbei ist, dann feiern wir eine große Party. Und an das kann ich mich eben auch noch sehr gut erinnern. Und ich dachte, naja, hoffentlich ist es dann wirklich so und wir können eine große Party feiern. Die Party ist vielleicht nicht so groß, wie wir es uns damals gedacht haben. Es dauert länger, als wir es uns damals gedacht haben. Aber es ist trotzdem, wie Christiane schon meinte, ein Grand Final, ein, ein großes Finale. Thomas wird euch jetzt zeigen, gemeinsam mit unserer lieben Victoria Ferreri, die ich auch ganz herzlich begrüßen möchte, ähm, was es mit den Krenolinen auf sich hat. Also ihr seht auch, dass wir so QR-Codes äh, umgehängt haben. Ihr könnt uns scannen, dann seht ihr etwas, was mit diesen Krenolinen auch zu tun hat. Und ähm, ansonsten ähm, wird Victoria und werden Thomas und Victoria das jetzt mal anziehen. Und wir laden euch ein, auch jeder, also wir haben 15 Krenolinen äh, hergestellt, also die Victoria hat das gemacht. Und bitte tragt sie, ihr könnt sie dann ja auch tauschen. Und genießt dieses sehr elegante Abstandskostüm. Ja, es ist wirklich wunderbar, das zu tragen. Fight, 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 fight,
Rudolf Vienna. Die Alte und das Das liegt auch und auch so tief. to gossip. Uh, we, of course, both gossip a lot. Totally do this. Uh, it's yes. like an addiction. Yes. It never stops. And, and, and we have realized, like, actually Denise realized, uh, she's usually smarter than me. I, I, I am the one that gets confused and then Denise makes the right structure of, out of it. 
And Denise has a really good theory about gossiping. <laughs> that she forgot, should I? No, 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 no. I, I wouldn't say it's a good theory. I just noticed that I would have loved to give you some gossip. But I then realized there is no gossip happening if you don't have like drunken nights out, smooching. There is no like just happening smooching. You just have to smooch the same fucking people you've known for years. That could be a gossip though, but people are not even doing that anymore. Exactly. And it's, it's getting very depressed. Uh, and I was thinking, ooh, what gossip could I give you? And, 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 and the only thing, the only gossips that I heard the last weeks were people like, do you know who might have corona? <laughs> this person has corona? Yeah, I think I heard, I heard this person. like Anna told me, that Maria told her yes. that, that Renate went no. to this party really? and there was somebody who probably has corona. Wow, I've seen this somebody, yes. or oh, oh, I think I've even kissed this somebody. Do you think now I have corona? You're not supposed to kiss. Now, uh, it's strange. It's so see, it's okay. not working, it's not working, it's not working. But Vesa, how are you? feeling today. You, uh, Vesa, came back from Amsterdam last night uh, after a long, long train ride. Yes, because the train got broken. You know, I was so scared of Corona and I, 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 I'm not scared of getting Corona. I'm just scared of giving someone else Corona because I want to be a good person. But Same here. Uh, uh, of course, Denise wants to be a good person too. Everyone, you also want to be a good person. And um, I realized that, uh, that I'm a really bad person actually. Most of you don't, you don't know me, but I'm a total failure, actually. <laughs> Mom, I didn't know you're not. Yes, 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 yes. I am a bit of a failure, but I, I, it's a good thing to realize that you're a failure. It's a good thing because um, I realized that uh, actually, um, it's very funny. They, today, um, uh, someone came and said, oh, you're the comedian. And I'm not really a comedian. And then someone else says, oh, you're a choreographer. I'm not. I'm a choreographer, but I'm studying choreography right now. So I was lying all these years. In the, so I, I think that all my professions has been a lie. You're a very good liar, though. Yeah, I'm a really good liar. You're a good liar. And, and this is how you're managing, like, going, going through it. But I would say that you're a comedian in your own art. Of course, of course. I, I, I think I'm a, I'm a comedian in my own art. Do yes. you want to, I thought that we wanted to, one thing that we wanted before, because we're going to share some secrets with yes, you. Yes, 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 yes. That's I'm that's going to tell you some of my secrets that I never told anyone, and I think these could be secrets that you also know in yourselves. And let's see, if, if you recognize yourself, then I, I want you to raise your hand when we say that. Yeah? Yes, and I think you will know all the secrets about Denise because Denise is more known. And my secrets, you will, I think, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, don't know. I don't want people to know my secrets. <laughs> but that's the whole point of tonight. Tonight we are revealing our souls. Yeah, we are no, revealing we who we are. We are revealing, revealing because when social distancing, when, when there is social distancing, then there is the importance of closeness. And how do we, do we create closeness? Through gossiping, which is not possible nowadays. Uh, no, I think through revealing who we are. Yeah, and sharing secrets. Exactly. Tell yeah. them about uh, how we met, and I thought I kept it a secret for a really long time. No, but you don't What I thought. It. Yeah, no, but how, how did we, uh, first time we met? Okay. The first time I met Denise Bourbon was at, um, uh, okay, it's a long story. It was a couple of years ago. We were in this queer post porn piece with Peter Kotzak, and uh, and we, uh, I wanted to be, I said We wanted to do Reigen. Reigen, exactly. A post-porn post production porn. of Reigen. Exactly. It went so-so. It was okay. It was, not, it was soft porn. It was not even porn. No, but it was we, not even porn. It was not even porn, but I, I get to have sex with, uh, my. it was hot. I kind of had a, a pencil. It doesn't matter. Yes. So when I met Denise, I saw this tall, blonde woman, uh, topless. Like, she was just uh, pulling, pulling out the t-shirt and showing me her beautiful breasts. And I look at the breasts and I was like, oh my god, these breasts are just beautiful. And then I got a bit nervous. I was like, oh my god, what do I say? And then Denise, I don't know why, she was like, you know, I have quite good breasts. I, 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 they're starting to hang now. I, I, you know, I'm this type of person that it took me a long time to age, but I think I'm starting to age now. 
And I was like, OK. <laughs> and then it was like, OK. And then I think I started talking, talking, talking. And, and, and I looked at Vesa, and I was like, who? Where did you find that hipster lesbian? I cannot with this. And but then you liked my boobs, and then I, I liked you. Yeah, I liked yeah. you too. And the, the funny thing is, like, we didn't make out, uh, out don't worry. I was really blessed that <laughs> Denise said. Excuse me. <laughs> no, we could have, we could have, but we didn't. Uh, yeah, it's because I'm a hipster lesbian. And I was really touched because at that time I was a very new lesbian and no one was seeing the lesbian in me, so I was really touched by that. But I was a bit concerned about the fact that you think that I talk too much and you were like, no one talks as much as me, and then it's bourbon. I don't like people that talk as much as I do. That is correct, and this is the only one in the world who is allowed to interrupt me. Exactly. And you, we created, the funny part of this is that we created our own Reigen. We met at Reigen, you know, Reigen is this Kette, who has was with whom, blah, 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 blah. So, Vesa's girlfriend is my ex-girlfriend. And I met my girlfriend because she hooked up with, with her my girlfriend. girlfriend. <laughs> Yeah. That is Reigen in real life. Okay, I'm gonna get my secrets now. Hi. Yes, I'm gonna get my secrets and uh, I, I had to write them down. I have also because, like a paper uh, with secret, but it got all wet. Uh, also, my jacket is a bit wet because I was at the toilet and I left it there, and then uh, everything Vesa. got very wet. I think it's a time to. Vesa? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I think, I think I'm getting everybody wet. misunderstood. I don't know what my secrets are anymore. <laughs> she went to the toilet and the jacket got wet. And also my, my, my Sprechzettel. She means something completely different. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I, no, I have an idea. Okay. Uh, change of plans because we are spontaneous comedians, okay. spontaneous artists. Yes. I'm going to reveal your secrets. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, oh. And you're going to reveal mine because mine are uh, disappearing by wetness. And I think I, I, I say one and you say one, okay? Oh, no, are you serious? Like, are you serious? Yes. Okay, this is not, we are not performing now, like this weird, uh, weird acting act. I really don't know what she's gonna do now. Okay, secret number one. When Denise Bourbon doesn't pick up the phone. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Why does Denise Bourbon doesn't pick up the phone? <laughs> Because she just doesn't give a shit. No, that is not, that's not, did I tell you this? No, okay. Hey, listen. I can't remember, okay. No, it's not she doesn't give a shit. This she is gives actually a lot of like, shit. No, this is no, actually. No, 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 she gets, she, she gets anxious. But she sees the, the phone, is like, oh my God, she gets anxious. Please. I am never ready for a phone call. Exactly. I will never, ever pick up a phone call, ever. It doesn't matter who you are who call me, even you, honey. If my phone rings and I see, and I'm like, I did not, uh, I did not sign up for this phone call now. I am not ready, and I need to wait. And then when I'm ready, I will call you back. And then I will always lie to you and say that I didn't see your phone call. I always saw your phone call. But Who recognized themselves? Yes. Oh yeah. yes. yes. But there is more. Yes. Denise is Person because she's not, she's not, she doesn't give a shit. I have to say sorry for it. I'm, I'm trying to be a bit more badass. I'm sorry. It's because you care. You're like, I, I, you care. You're like, okay, I call you when I'm ready for it. I'm rather an act person. Like, I, I, it will go through. Okay, no. Okay. You act, okay, this is, uh, you act, uh, you act like a art, uh, confused artist. Uh, you know, like, oh my god, I'm such a confused artist, I have so many ideas in my head to not have to do things. Exactly. <laughs> is that true? Yes, that's true. And everyone thinks it's so brilliant. It's like, oh, Vesa, <laughs> that's forced drama. Was, you know, in the arts of, because I, 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 I'm a comedian, but I'm also a choreographer, but also not. But in the post drama, it's really cool to be confused. It's very important in, in art to be confused. It's, 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 you know, it's, it's a sign of genius. Exactly. Yes, but uh, me, it's laziness. Are you really gonna? Are you really going to uh, guess mm -hmm. my guess my thing? Okay, the second secret that the needs firm has. Did they send you this list? Yeah, I don't know. They say, okay, let me think. Let me think. You know, 
what Denise Bourbon dreams about when she's alone in her kitchen? I, I don't know what I dream about when I'm alone Denise in my kitchen. Denise Bourbon pictures her own funeral. <laughs> Whole Vienna following Denise Bourbon. <laughs> the queen, the queen, the queen. Oh, she's so time. much. And then she cries. So sad. I need to cry sometimes. The funny thing is I dream the same. <laughs> I cry so hard because I picture all these people not knowing what to do with my, their lives without me. And yeah. that touches me so bad that I start crying so hard that I almost throw up because I feel so sorry for them in their pain. And then I'm thinking, you should also probably also stop living. Yeah. I, I think How so. many people has this? <laughs> <laughs> OK. I think you're lying. Yes, yes. <laughs> OK, you have another secret. Oh. Okay, uh, Denise, um, Denise, Denise will never tell you how many beers she had. <laughs> Denise always counts, uh, three is one in her count <laughs> mathematics. <laughs> I sent you this list, we talked about this, you're so scheming, I forgot that I sent you the list. Yes. Uh, I will always lie to you. I will have two bottles of wine and I would have had like almost one bottle of wine and I cannot believe why I'm feeling so shitty today. It was a really <laughs> expensive wine and I didn't even finish it all. I will always have four beers even when I have eight. I'm Finnish. I can drink a lot. But I'm also a lady. So I will never tell you that I drank eight beers. How many people do this? I love it. Three people, you are liars. We are in Vienna, Austria. Or maybe you just say that you had eight beers. I don't know, maybe you don't feel ashamed yeah. about it. Yeah, maybe that's the case, yeah. Oh, Gilvisa, I, want, I can't know your secrets. Oh. What are my oh, secrets? Yeah, 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 of course, of course. But of course. you know all my secrets, you know? When well, Vesa is super, super, nice and sweet and attentive to somebody and you notice that she really works her ass off to make them like her, I know she can't stand that person. Yeah. Am I right? Yes, you're totally right. Yes. Like when I really don't like someone or someone has hurt me, I when I approach this person I try to be extra nice. It's like a strategy to, I don't know why. But you want them to like, but you're not going to like them anyways. No, 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 but I want them to like me. It's like a perverse thing I have. I want my haters to like me. No, I want the ones I hate to like me. The ones you hate should like you, but you're not going to like them back. No. No. But you will never know who I don't like. Yeah, now everybody knows. <laughs> it's going to be very strange for you to be nice to somebody here tonight. I know, but I'm always so nice. I don't know what to do about it. But I'm really glad about, yeah, about our friendship, because you really, you know, I had many years uh, 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 well, this is taking a turn. Uh, okay. Many years, many years, I was like thinking, "Oh my God, I'm so nice and I'm so sweet and 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 <laughs> I cannot even tell jokes. Denise can tell jokes, but I can be nice and, and and funny. But it's always so nice. But Denise always supports my bad side. Like even no, they, they sound really bad. This confuses me really a lot now when you're being so cute to me. Like I, I have no idea where to go with I this. Think, I think I think you you support me in my development to become more. <laughs> More, you support me always. Of an asshole? Yes, but also not an okay. asshole. You support me in all directions, and I'm really blessed for that. Do you, know more, do you know more secrets? Yes. Yes. No, I, I, I only have now my own secrets, which I uh, would like to share quickly before we're going to lead everybody into the to the concert room, right? Yes. That did not happen. That is so beneath me. <laughs> I don't do feedback, excuse me. Tinta. <laughs> Tinta. Vienna. I once uh, wanted to stop dating a person because I found a photo of her online wearing sandals. Really? <laughs> I love this secret. I thought she was so cool and hot. This is some years ago. I thought she was so cool and hot. And then I was clicking through her pictures, and then there was one picture she was wearing sandals, and I fucking died. And then uh, I told my best friend, Gisi, and she said, 
just forget about the sandals. And I went daily and looked at the picture of her in the sandals. And I died inside, and that never left my head, and we didn't last for very long. I never told her about the sandal thing. I love that. I, I, I love this. I love this honesty. I think I don't have anything to confess. Do you think I have anything to confess? I think you will be inspired. Do you think, do you think, could you confess something from me? Like this? We cannot get too close. No. Go away from me with no, it. No, it's so sad. Can I do another one? Yes. <laughs> okay, I never, uh, um, this I told some people, but not so many. Uh, I really, really, really hate uh, yelling at demonstrations. You know this when you're supposed to do the slogans, because it makes me feel so awkward inside. Yes. Yeah. But I move my mouth and I go to the hey. people who are really loud and I go beside them and then I do. <laughs> I do that too. I do that too. No, I don't. I don't no, you my mouth. Yell. I'm sorry, you yell. You have, have no you shame. Me? I don't have shame. No, you don't have shame. Okay. You start immediately. Today, when they had sound problems, you were like, rah, 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 so long, and I was like, okay. And, uh, and then I stood beside you and I moved my mouth. I'm realizing now that I don't have anything to confess. No, I have to confess something. What, do I can, what can I confess? Can I confess? Maybe I can inspire you with my next one. Exactly. I only have two ones left. Okay, okay, two ones, two more. Ones, this is actually I never told anyone in my life. I was there with a best friend and we were in our garden. And I had not been in Vienna so, I have been in Vienna 10 years. I've been in Vienna 10 years and it was Sturmzeit. And I really like Sturm, I think it's tasty. So me and my best friend got three bottles of Sturm, <laughs> which is like, I think, six liters. And we shared that mm. in our garden mm. in an afternoon. Mm. Yes, it was light outside. And then all of a sudden, something started happening in my body. <laughs> and I did not know what to do. And I just clinched my little buttocks like this, and tried to walk to my flat <laughs> on the Mauergasse, but I didn't make it. Okay. So I went and had a little poo, oh. Uh, oh. A, a very horrible little poo, oh. in the bushes no. that are no. just by the Tabustrasse really? U-Bahn Station, close to the McDonald's, yeah. and they are this high. Ah. So really? I sat like this, Where? And hoping I... that nobody knew what I was doing. Really? <laughs> And I was a 35-year-old woman at that time. <laughs> and uh, I uh, feel very elated now that I got to share this secret with you. Because I looked at my best friend and said, if you ever tell anyone that I did this, I will kill you. <laughs> she would get very mad today if she saw me doing this. But thank you. I feel so much elated. <laughs> She's very old. Well, well this, I'm, I'm getting nervous. I'm sorry, no, no, no. Okay. And, and, and then she, um, I was having an argument with her, but it was uh, very, and then she got a letter into my um, email box, and I took it and I threw it away. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's really bad. But I was so mad. What, what kind of letter was it? I don't know. So it was, could have been any kind of yeah. important letter. It was not important. It was a random letter. But I threw it away, and it was an act of empowering me. <laughs> no, I don't know why. I, I, I yeah, I, I, it was, yeah. Do you feel better now? No. <laughs> <laughs> I also, yeah. I, 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 I also, no, I, yeah, it's okay. I, I have a last one. And I think this is a good cue for us to go I to think the so too. I think it's the moment to go. I, but I have to tell my last secret. Tell, tell your last secret. Okay. My last secret is, um, is that I'm not really Spanish. I'm Austrian. <laughs> <laughs> I have an Austrian passport, not a Spanish one. I'm sorry, the accent is just... 
happening. <laughs> <laughs> you do extra doing the accent to be yes. special. Yes. yes. I knew it. I always knew it. I knew it. But I thought if I'm going to say it, it's going to be super offensive. Hey, Tessa. That's who I am. Okay. We have uh, four years of relationship, uh, friendship to talk about uh, then after this. Um, we are still going to be friends. When I'm sitting uh, with a group of people, uh, often in the bar situation or we have a little hangout, I, uh, I pretend to go to the toilet because I get so fucking bored. I do that too. Yes. And when I, I even do the whole thing. Someone. When you want to kiss someone? And hidden, I also do that. Oh, when you want to go and sneak uh, a little yeah. kiss. I yeah, no, I just do this when I'm bored. And I'm like, and then after a while, sometimes people go like, you were just in the toilet 10 minutes ago. I go like, Kleine Blaster, Kleine Blaster. And like, you always tell me you can have eight beers without peeing. <laughs> lying, lying. I don't know what I'm lying about anymore. And I think this is very common. I think that's very common. Yeah. It's a bit, I, have, I, I mean, to be nice also requires to lie a little bit. And the world requires more niceness, I think. Exactly, and that I think people uh, totally overestimate honesty. I think so too. Honesty is so bullshit. Like, really, just make it more pretty instead. Decorate it a little bit. Make up, make people feel better. Tell them what they want to hear. I That's the kind of world I want to live. <laughs> me too, me too. Tell people what they want to hear, make them feel right. If you want vendettas or revenge, do it in their backs. Or if it's very important, <laughs> just say it into the face. And gossip is healthy. And gossip soon we can have something to gossip yeah, about again. About gossip, before we take them, because the next station is going to be in the Kino, Sal, I have to tell you something. You know, I'm, I'm doing this uh, university right now. Yeah. And you know that gossip yeah. is now the new trend in contemporary dance? Like, Silvia Federici wrote about gossip and how important it was for women for revolution. And now there are all these contemporary dance pieces about people gossiping. But in contemporary dance, the people gossiping looks like that. Imagine in a room, by white room, some lights, people sitting in modern costumes and just talking bananas. <laughs> but you cannot understand what they are saying. That's <laughs> what you know, eh? It's the new trend. You remember where you heard it first. Vesa Vertigo told you that gossip is the new thing in contemporary art. Thank you so much, John and Zwanziger House. Thank you so much, Kosta Milowski, for inviting us to share our secrets with you. Thank you, all of you. What did you say? Your name was again. Do you really want?